Hello, this is Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. Checking in here on the Yarnspirations Facebook page. I just give this a minute to load. Let's see if the camera angles are looking good. Yes, all right. Hope everyone's doing well today here for the Lunch and Learn. We are going to be talking about this um, Karen Crochet Bookcase Blanket. So I don't have the full blanket um, done and with me right now. I just have a portion of it, which I'm gonna be demonstrating today. So um, you can get this pattern right on the Yarnspirations website. Uh, the link will be in the comments um, and in the description at some point. And um, you can go ahead and download this. It's a free pattern. This is what the final blanket will look like. Love it, right? Back to school time. My kids have the Scholastic Book Fair soon. Perfect for librarians or just any kind of book lovers. Um, I actually had book club at my house last night. So um, if anyone's read a good book lately, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm always down for a good book. We read Verity by Colleen Hoover. So if you want a quick read with um, like a book with a twist at the end, uh, it's a good one. So I recommend that. Um, but of course, we're here to talk about crochet today. So I'm just going to give this one more minute. Um, oh, good. Your comments are loading. Hi, everyone. Tennessee, Michigan, California. I'm missing California. I'm in Arizona now. Um, all right, so I think I'm just going to dive right in because we only have so much time. So I'm going to show you what you get when you download this pattern. So obviously, this is part of the pattern here. This shows um, the picture of what the bookcase blanket will look like. Um, this is corner to corner crochet. So you are going to be able to get um, this pixel graph. So corner to corner crochet works off of a pixel graph like this. So it's a graph made up of these little pixel squares and each square in your graph is going to be equal to one of these okay and all this is is double crochet stitches so if you can make a chain and a double crochet you are going to be good to go all right um so you can also I like how they did this here. The team at Your Inspirations really thought of everything. So um, this is a different kind of graph. It's showing you um, the colors, um, and I'm gonna get to the yarn in just one second. So this is showing you where each of the yarn colors go. And then also, if some of you um, like the actual um, kind of stitch graph there, um, they give you that, kind of breaks it down, shows you where those um, double crochets and these slip stitches and the chains are. Uh, some people like to use those. Um, all right, what else do you get? Okay, let's talk about the yarn because this pattern actually suggests using um, the Karen, Karen Colorama. Um, this is an Ogo, and I love these Ogos. I only have this one with me, so I'm actually not going to be using um, this for the demonstration only because I only had one Ogo with these colors. But um, obviously, you see there's a lot of color changes here. So this is a really great yarn um, because it comes with, well, what do you have? One, two, three, four, five colors already in one Ogo. Um, so it's a great um, way to do color work for this. Um, let's see. Um, so basically, if you have this, use it. But if you don't, um, I am going to just be using worsted weight yarn today. This is Red Heart Super Saver. And by the way, I just want to mention, I feel like Red Heart... Um, I don't know if there's been some improvement in the factory, but this is just super soft and nice. Um, so I don't know. Give Red Heart a, another try. If you weren't a fan before, you should be a fan now. Um, I'm loving it. So uh, yarn links to the both of these yarns hopefully will be in the comments as well. So you can just get right to that and um, check out all the colors. So this one I'm using Light Sage. This is going to be soft white. And then I also have carrot orange here. Um, and I picked those colors because I am just taking a portion of the blanket right now to demo with you. So this is kind of the cactus succulent part. You can see it right here. All I did was kind of blew that up on my screen. And then you can actually, um, in your printer settings, just 
print it out at like 150% <laughs> so you can get yourself a graph like this. And I just numbered my squares. All right, so I'm just gonna put this pattern to the side. I printed out this little pixel graph because I wanna get started and show you all about corner to corner crochet. Don't let it intimidate you. I know some people look at it and they're, they're feeling overwhelmed, but really easy stitches. Okay, so it's called corner to corner because you crochet starting in one corner and then you're gonna end in the other corner, okay? So we're kind of gonna be working diagonally. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'll be marking off these rows as I go. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do this whole thing. So kind of set this up where I, you can see the finished one. I have kind of a step out portion, but we're going to start together and see how far we can get. Um, another thing when you're looking at these pixel graphs uh, that I just like to uh, show you is I can already tell, and partly this is because this is a smaller um, graph. It's only 11 by 11 squares. Um, I can already tell that this soft white color is going to be used here on this side, and it's also going to be he used here on this side. So I know I'm probably going to need two skeins, or you can just have two separate balls because you're going to have multiple strings attached to your work as you go. All right, let's just dive into it because I think you guys are going to want to see this um, and see how it works up. All right, so take your yarn. We're gonna start right here. Let me get my pen. All we're gonna do is one square here. And to do that, you are gonna start by chaining six. Okay, so I made my slip knot on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now in the third, well, actually it's the fourth chain, okay, we are going to be making our double crochet. Okay, so right now you should have that chain three, you should have a double crochet, and now we're gonna make a double crochet in those last two chains. So there's another double crochet, and here's that last double crochet. And there you have it, you've already done one of your pixel squares just like that, okay? We're already off to a good start. All right, so now I'm gonna do this second diagonal row. And listen, I also wanted to mention, technically you could start here. You just wanna be going corner to corner. I don't know if that's easier for left-handed crocheters. Uh, also, I just wanna mention, um, they have the graph turned sideways, um, probably because the designers were smart and felt like the color work was easier going that way. That's fine too, the blanket will turn out just fine. So they're saying to start here and end here. I know it looks sideways, but obviously when you're done, you can turn the blanket the right way. Um, all right, so second row. So I'm gonna do um, one, two. So we need two pixel squares there. Okay, two little corner to corner crochets. And these are our increase. We are gonna be increasing until we get to um, the top corners, top and bottom corners. So an increase is always that chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, just like we did there, we're gonna go into that fourth chain from hook. We're gonna make that double crochet and then a double crochet in those next two, the last two, okay? Now at this point, I know this is gonna look funny because we have such a small project going right now. You gotta turn your work. <laughs> it's just one little pixel to turn. And we're gonna join to that chain three from that previous um, little, pixel C2C square, okay? So we joined, and now we're gonna make our next little um, square there. And to do that, we're gonna do a chain three, and we're gonna make three double crochets. Okay, so now we've done the second row. So. We have three there, one, two, three, okay? Now I'm gonna go back down. We have one, two, three, 
do three. Okay, so we're gonna do that increase. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go to that fourth chain, that double crochet, another double crochet, double crochet in that last. Okay, turn our work. Join, join to that chain three, chain three, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, join, just like little step ups, join to the chain three, chain three, double crochet, Double crochet, double crochet. Okay. See how that's looking like our little pixel graph now? All right, here we go. So one, two, three, that was one, two, three. Now look, we need to add in a color here. All right, so we're gonna do one of this um, orange and then I'm gonna do one, two, three in that off-white color. So, um, and this is how I, you can mark this or not, do whatever, however your brain works and is easiest for you, you do. I just feel like it's easy for me to read that, so I just need one of the orange and one, two, three of that, that nice little soft white color. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, because I know I need to make one in the orange. I'm just going to slip stitch that in and go as usual, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are going to do that, those double crochets. So fourth chain from hook, double crochet, double crochet, one more double crochet. Okay, kind of pull that tight if it's, feel like it's coming loose. I did not fasten off that white color now remember, we turn our work. Okay, come on, yarn. Now, I'm actually just gonna pull up my strand of this white so I don't have to clip off and reattach. If you do that, you can do that. You're just gonna have a lot of ends to weave in. So I'm just gonna go ahead, pull that up, and we can just join Oop, can you guys see that? I'm just going to join that right in, okay? And I'm leaving the orange attached because I know I'm gonna need it again. All right, so do that chain three, double crochet three times, okay? So what did I say, three of the white? Okay, one. another one okay so one two now one more one two and three okay so let's come back down so I'm gonna do one two of the white and then I'm gonna have one two, three of that orange, okay? Again, everything's still attached. If this is confusing you, that was just our starting, <laughs> that was just from our starting chain there, so you can weave that in if that's bothering you. All right, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, we're increasing here. Ooh, one, two, and those three double crochets. Okay, turn our work. So we're coming back down. Join to that chain with a slip stitch, chain three, and make those one, two, three double crochets. Up. Oh, okay. I almost kept going. So I'm looking at my graph, okay, I need a change to my orange now. 
And so you kind of see that it's way down here, your strand of yarn. So you could clip this off, reattach, but this is my little trick here. I am just going to kind of pull this up. I know it looks funny because you're, you're kind of working over here. Don't do it too tight. Leave it a little bit loose because we're going to crochet over this and hide it. Okay. So I'm just joining this in. Okay. I'm making my chain three. I'm working over that strand, making the, nope, I just caught my yarn. Let's try that again. Making those three double crochets. Ooh, come on, one more. Okay, I'm leaving that white attached still. I'm coming to this next one where we're gonna join. Again, I'm gonna crochet over that strand. Okay, so I'm joining this, the working strand in, I'm crocheting over that strand that I kind of pulled over. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm really trying to show you and it keeps my yarn slipping and sliding everywhere right now. Okay. Chain three. Make those three double crochets. And check this out. You cannot see that strand that we just pulled two little squares over. So if you had clipped off and reattached, you would have had extra strands that you would have to weave in. So anyway, that's my little tip and trick for you as we go. All right, let's make one more. Two, three, and make those three double crochets. Okay. I feel like we're getting the hang of it, yeah? Um, I'm just looking at your comments real quick because then I'm going to skip to my, um, I'm going to skip to my little step out because I want to show you kind of the, the tricky part of the whole thing is when you start to decrease. All right. So, um, what did we get to? We, we got to row five. I just kind of labeled my own rows. They're actually labeled for you if you're doing the whole blanket on, um, yarn inspirations. Um, the yarn inspirations pattern. So we got the hang of it. Now let me... Put this to the side. I'm going to bring in, hold on, I'm gonna get my other graph that I was working off of. I'm gonna bring in kind of a bigger piece here. I am currently on row 10. Where are we? I printed out a fresh sheet for you. I don't know, I hope this works out. <laughs> I had this all planned in my mind. All right. So I'm on row 10, I just started it. And the, I'm gonna do, we're gonna do row 10 and 11 and then the start of, well, I guess I didn't label this, the start of 12 together because this is when you're gonna do the decreases. And there's a lot of color changes going on here in row 10, so I just wanted to show that together. All right, and as you can see, I've kept all of my strands attached like this. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, it does get a little messy. You can use bobbins. Um, I have all my stuff in a yarn bowl right now. I don't know if this is gonna be the best method. I mean, I'm a little crazy when I crochet, so usually I have a skein and a ball and a on the floor, and then I got two up here, and I usually just kind of park myself and keep my project all together um, in the same spot when I'm working on it, and it usually kind of gets messy, but I don't know, guys. That's how I work, and um, it usually works for me in the end. All right, so I've done two. I'm on row 10 now. Um, let me mark this off. We're gonna do one, two, three, four in green, one in um, that white, one last one in that orange, and then one, two in that white again. Okay, so just as I showed you with that orange um, a couple of rows back, I am just gonna take my green strand, I'm pulling it all the way up here just so I have less to weave in. Okay, I'm gonna do that chain three. Make those one, two, two, three, double crochets. Okay, then we're gonna do that chain three. I'm just going right over, I'm crocheting right over that strand. One, two, and three. Nope, oh, caught my yarn there. Okay. 
Uh, how many did I say? Four of these. Okay, so now we're just going to keep going, business as usual, down our, down the line. One, two, three. Okay, one more. One, two, three. Okay. I'm gonna attempt another little color change trick. Now, you see that there's kind of this lonely little white one sitting here. Um, you could easily just take another ball, attach it. You're probably gonna have to do that right here for the middle, but let's try something here. Let's see. What if I take this white strand, pull it all the way up. Okay, let's think about this. If this doesn't work, I think it'll work. I, f I feel like I did this. Okay, I'm crocheting over it, making my square. That was a chain three and those three double crochets. Okay, I didn't have to attach anything new. Now I'm dropping it. I'm gonna pull up the um, orange because I have one more orange to go but I'm also gonna hold the white because I need the white again right after it. I can see that. And I also have to crochet over this. Okay, so maybe just in your mind it's easier to, so I'm crocheting over all these white strands. Maybe in your mind it's just easier to reattach and just clip off and reattach and go with it. But here I am trying to be fancy. All right, three chains. One, two, Three. Okay, I don't know. Did we do it? I mean, I feel like we did it. And look at the back. I don't know. It worked, guys. Okay, now we got it. I'm switching. I'm going to just let that actually, ha ha, that was the last, that was the last orange. I'm gonna just going to get rid of that. We don't need it. Okay. Sorry. So you will have to weave this in at the end. And I am going to go ahead and take my um, white. One, two, three. Okay. Making those three double crochets. Okay. And the last one. Chain three. Three double crochets. Okay. I also want to mention this is completely reversible. It's just a mirror image on the back. How fun's that? That's another thing I love about corner to corner crochet. All right, I don't know how much time I have left, so let's. I'm gonna try and just speed it up a little bit so I can start showing you the decreases. Um, but before we get to the decreases, this is our last increase row. This is because I can see we're at the corner, okay? And then at, when we get to the top, we're gonna be at this other corner, all right? So we're gonna have one, two, three. Oop, sorry. Four, we're gonna have one, two, three, four white. We're gonna have one green, one white, one, two, three green, and then one, two. And that's gonna be the end of our increases. All right, so let's get to this. So increase again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, yarn. Fourth chain, we're gonna make those Double crochets. Okay, turn our work. What did I say? I need four of these. So that was one. So I joined. Now let's do that next little pixel square. So that's two. We need four of these. Two, three. Two. Three double crochets. Okay, join here. One, two, and three. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one green. Okay, here we go. So I'm joining that in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lots of three counts, right? Okay, now I could have 
pulled this up, but I'm not going to because I know when I come back down, I'm just going to have more and more greens. And I, I don't know. I think it's just easier at this point to just take another ball and attach it. Um, do what you wish, but I feel like that's just going to work out better. Um, so I'm just reattaching um, a different strand from a smaller ball of um, the white. One, two, three. And I'm going to show you something else too. Oh, shoot. I don't. Oh, yeah, I do. I was going to say, because now I have to reattach the green. So I'm also going to, I have, I didn't think I had another strand, but I do right here of the green. Um, Cause I can see my green kind of splits off. I'm going to have the green here and I'm going to have the green over here. So I'm going to attach this. Chain three. Make those three double crochets. What did I say? Three, three little pixels. Okay. So that was one. This is two. Now let's do one more for a total of three. Sorry, I know I'm probably crocheting fast now because I'm trying to get to other important parts. I don't want to leave anything out of this tutorial. You can always watch the replay, pause it, do what you need to do. Okay. Grabbed that white. I just left my, all my greens. We have a lot of stuff attached now, but we're going to go with it. Um, sorry. So, okay, here we go with the white. And now I'm at the very top. This is my last corner. I'm at the top of the corner. So I do those chain three and those three double crochets. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and turn. And we are going to start with a decrease. So I know this confuses a lot of people. If it was an increase, your squares would keep going up and up and up. Okay. And your squares would keep going out, out, and out, okay? But it's not. It's going to be flat now on the top. We are going to be decreasing, okay? So no more chain six. All right, so I turned my work, and I'm just going to be slip stitching over so I can immediately start working in that chain three space. Okay, lots of yarn attached, I know. All right, so I am just... Okay, well, if I didn't lose the yarn would have been able to see that better. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's just slip stitch over, just working right under the top of those stitches. I slip stitched over and I got to my chain three right there. You can see that. I'm putting my nail through there. I'm slip stitching to join to that chain three. And then I'm doing one, two, three, and those three double crochets. I'm gonna lay this flat for one second so you guys can kind of get a visual. Okay, so see how my top is flat there and I forgot to count out. So you're looking at this, you're looking at two, these two, and look, it's flat across the top too. So we have one, one, two, three, one, one green, one, two, three, four white. Yeah. I just got ink all over my hand. Okay. I'm just trying to get back into my computer so I can see. All right, we do, we do have a couple minutes. All right, what did I say? We're gonna do the green next. One, two, three. Hopefully I'm not getting blue ink all over everything. I mean, I should have used the pencil. Okay, one, two, three. Come on with these double crochets, one. Three double crochets. Okay, chain three, three double crochets. Let's do one more of these. And this is why I have so many yarn strands attached right now because I can easily just drop this, go with that middle. Remember how we reattached that middle, a new strand for the middle there. It's just right here, ready for me to grab. Chain three, three double crochets. Oop. Keep snagging my yarn. I'm just going too fast for my own good right now. Dropping that, pulling up that other green strand that's all the way down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, one, two, three. Okay. And then that was only one in green and then four in white. It'll bring us to that other corner or back down to where we had that other corner. show you guys this last little part okay I'm joining okay I have one more square to go this is why you got to count it's one two three four I got one two three I have one more to go so this is gonna be my last one and I'm gonna join and I'm gonna turn I'm not gonna make one more square because if I did I wouldn't be making this longer and longer but we want to end right here one I don't know why I did this yarn bowl thing. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Join. That was it. I want to show you guys. I now have this straight edge. Okay. That's this. I need to come back up. One, two, three. So what are we going to do? We're going to turn our work. We're going to slip stitch over. And we're going to continue on. Remember, at this point, no more chain threes. Okay, so I turned my work. I'm gonna slip stitch till I get all the way to that chain three space. Slip stitch, chain three, and then make those three double crochets. There you have your ed your straight straight edge there. We didn't inc increase at all. All right, so hopefully I've given you a couple tips and tricks. Maybe if you've never tried corner to corner crochet, um, you've m maybe wrapped your head around it if you were intimidated. Um, but anyway, I'm loving how this looks. Um, you have if you have long tails like this. Where's my Where's my tapestry needle? Um, another little tip I'm just going to give you real quick um, when you weave in your ends. If you see any kind of like. I don't know if this bugs you, like you see a little bit of white or I don't know. Um, I always use the ends to my advantage and I just kind of come over here and you can just work right over any stitches that like any color changes that bother you. See how I just kind of went over that corner and made it disappear. Uh, I suggest when you're doing corner to corner, I mean, as always, you should weave in your ends well. Um, kind of go back and forth over several of these squares, these little pixel squares that you made with your yarn, just so they're nice and you don't want this coming unraveled, right? So anyway, boom, you can just clip that off. There you have it. Let me bring this one into view. So this is not done yet but I don't know, I feel like I have a pillow going now, a little small, cute little pillow. Um, so here is what your finished piece will look like. I'm sorry we didn't have time to do the entire thing, but um, hopefully you guys get the hang of it. You can always re-watch this video. Again, mirror image on either side, so it can go either way, perfect for a blanket. Um, please feel free to head over to yarnspirations.com, download this bookcase blanket. Love it. Happy back to school, everyone. Happy reading. Thank you, Yarnspirations, for having me live at the Lunch and Learn today. I'm Sarah from Repeat Crafter Me, and I will see you guys again soon for more crochet.